Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mohsin Shazad. I am working as a trainee medical physicist at uh, Aga Khan University Hospital. And in this video, I will be discussing some of the dosimetric equipments that are used in dosimetry. Starting with some basic terminologies that we must have an idea about them before moving ahead. Absorbed dose. Absorbed dose is the amount of energy deposited per unit mass of object, either a human tissue or a material. Dosimeter. A dosimeter is a detector that can detect and measure directly or indirectly exposure to radiation. Dosimetry Dosimetry is a science and practice of radiation safety by which absorbed dose is determined. Luminescence Upon absorption of radiation, some material retains parts of its energy in metastable state. This energy is then released in the form of ultraviolet, visible or infrared light. This phenomena is known as luminescence. Moving forward to the types of the dosimeters. First we have calorimeter. Calorimeter is a device that is used to measure the change in temperature. Basic assumption is that when an object is irradiated, all the absorbed dose will appear as heat. So in this case, the measurement of temperature change refers to the measurement of absorbed dose. Chemical dosimeter In a chemical dosimeter, the absorbed dose is determined from the change in the solution. The solution consists of ferrous sulfate and the absorbed dose depends on the oxidation of ferrous ion into ferric ions. When an electron in matter stable state is carried out by enough energy that will release a photon that represents the absorbed dose. In thermoluminescence dosimeter, that electron is read out by providing heat energy. A similar type of dosimeter known as optically stimulated luminescent, light energy is used to read out the absorbed dose. In the end we have film dosimeters. Radiochromic film consists of single or a double layer of radiation sensitive micro crystals on a thin polyester. Color of the film becomes dark when exposed to radiation. Darkness of the film increases with increase in absorbed dose. All of these rosimeters have some positive and negative points as well. Calorimeter is precise and accurate for measuring absorbed dose but it is not suitable for routine use in clinical setting. Material in chemical dosimeter is tissue equivalent, but it is also sensitive to non-ionizing radiation. Both calorimeter and chemical dosimeter are time consuming and require sophisticated equipments. Thermoluminescent and optically stimulated luminescent, both are reusable and energy independent and can be used as a personal dosimeter but they are unable to give instant reading. Film dosimeter can give accurate dose distribution, but these films are sensitive to environmental conditions including temperature and humidity.